have learned a lot about formulas or rules for the area and parameter of rectangles, but can we use these formulas to solve multiplication problems more easily? This is what we are going to learn today. Hello, my dear students. This is Ms. Sarah. The title of Unit 7 is Multiplication and Division. Computation and Relationships. This unit has two concepts. And then two concepts. Concept 1 is multiplying by one digit and two digit factors. We will learn and learn about new strategies and the distributive property of multiplication. And in concept 2, dividing by one digit divisors, we will explore and explore a group of division strategies. In the beginning, let's watch the unit video and focus on the arrangements of containers on the port and how this can be represented in many problems. Container port. It's a busy time at the container port. Trucks and trains are bringing metal containers to be loaded onto ships. These will be transported all over the world. They're like giant interlocking bricks. These containers have been put into rows of five so that they're easier to count. How many do you see? A ship has brought these containers. The workers put them into columns of five so it's easier to count. How many containers do you see here? Count the containers in rows and columns to help you. There are 13 containers in the bottom row and six rows. That should help. The container port unloads containers too. The containers are stacked and stored until they can be picked up by truck or train. These 84 containers are going to travel by four different trains to four different cities. That's 84 divided by four. How many containers are on each train? Can you work it out using your division skills? And now I am sure you have noticed and again into to that arranging the containers in columns or rows made counting them very easy, okay? Now we have also seen that we can represent a number of containers in two digit by one digit multiplication problem. In today's lesson, we will notice or practice this type of problems. In today's lesson, the area model strategy, we will use and study the area models to represent two digit by one digit multiplication and learn how to use place value to multiply. And now let's start with access part Notice and wonder, page 261. Let's see it all together. Okay, here in page 261, in the access part, like you see here. Type. في الصورة اللي إحنا شايفينها, here we have array. Yes, in the access part. Okay, like you see here in the access part, here we have array of four rows like you see. Okay, let's say that each square represents one. كل square من دول represent one. And the rectangle represents ten. This rectangle represents ten and each square here represents one. So, can you calculate the value of each row? تقدروا تقولوا لي value بتاع كل row. The value of each row will be ten plus three. Here, 10 plus 3, right? Okay, 10 plus 3 equals 13. Type. Now, let's write this array as a multiplication problem, as we learned before. Now we have four rows. Each row represents 13. And Andy, 1, 2, 3, and four rows. كل row في كام في 13. So, how can I write it? تعال نكتبها هي. هكتب 13 times 4. Now, how can we solve this problem? هحل البروبلم اللي عندي دي ازاي. We will know the answer in build page 262. Let's move to page 262. Here in page 262, in this part, we will use the same way to represent a group of problems about the bus ri ri river shown in your books. Problem number one says what? Here's problem number one, as you see here. Problem number one says that we have 22 passengers can fit on each river bus at a time. 
عايز يعرف ايه عايز يعرف what is the maximum number of passengers the river bus can carry if it makes five trips لو عمل five trips طيب تعالوا نعمل array to represent the problem let's see it here we have array to represent this problem طيب we will draw a rectangle like you see here That represent 10. احنا قلنا ريكتانجل كل واحد فيهم ريبريزنت 10 يعني ده 10 والانذر ريكتانجل 10. And the square that represent 1 كل سكوير عندي ريبريزنت 1. To represent what? 22. 10 و 10 20 and 1 plus 1 equals 2. Now we will draw two rectangles and two squares. طيب I will repeat this five times. مش احنا قلنا five times او five trips so I repeat this five times. Why? Because we have five trips. تعالوا كده نشوف مع بعض. So I repeat the two rectangles and the two squares five times. This array is like the arrays we have learned before. Now you can draw this array in your books using a quick draw. You can draw a line to represent the tens or dots to represent the ones. يعني بدل ما عم rectangle ممكن على فكرة أعمل two lines يعني ten و ten وبدل the two squares ممكن أعمل two dots. Okay? Now let's write this array as a multiplication problem to find the maximum number of passengers the river bus can can carry. Now an anti cam rows. Look one, two, three, four, five. Anti five rows, right? Each row fee came fee twenty two. So I can write twenty two times five. Now what should we do to find the maximum number of passengers? Of course we can count the tens. Will once and add the two numbers. تعالوا كده نعيد مع بعض. The tens is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? So, what should I make then? I will. If I add the ten with the ones, the number is what? تعالوا نعيد the ones كده. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I want to add the tens and the ones. Type ten tens, يعني one hundred plus ten ones, اللي هي ten, right? So the answer is one hundred ten passengers, right? Okay. Type. ممكن حد يقول لي that we can decompose the twenty two to twenty and two, right? مش ممكن أعمل twenty two تبقى twenty and two. Okay, طيب يبقى هعمل إيه؟ هعمل 5 times 20 plus 5 times 2, right? Okay, the answer will be what? Yes, the answer will be also 110. Okay, now there's something very important here I want to tell you. In a 22 على فكرة, I can decompose it in very or many different ways. Okay, ممكن تبقى 16 plus 6 أو 12 plus 10. But we need to choose the way that can help us to find the solution easily. بختار أسهل حاجة ليا إن أنا أقدر أحل بيها. So we decompose 22 to 22. ده عشان كده a simple 22 to 22 and 2 to be very easy. Because these numbers are very easy to multiply by 5 as 20 multiple of 10. Now we'll give you time to answer problem number 2 on the same page using the composition or drawing in your school books. Now let's solve it all together on the board. Tight. Here I have 17 times 4. Let's draw it all together. Tight. I will represent the 10 by long line. 10 hamil ha long line like this. Okay. Tight. We have 7 dots to represent the 7 ones. Hamil ha zay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And andi hina 10 and Seven. We will put this in one row. زي ما احنا شايفين كده عملتهم in one row. I will repeat the row how many times? Four times, right? مش هي times four. يبقى I repeat this four times. كل اللي أنا عملته ده هعيده four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. أنا كده عدتهم four times. To find the total number, 
we can count the tens. ممكن أعد التنس اللي عندي. Here I have 40, right? We count the ones. Here I have 28. يبقى أنا عندي هنا 40. وعندي هنا 28. If you count this, you will be 40, and this will be 28. وبعدين هعمل إيه? Of course, I will add 40 plus 22. 28, 40 plus 28 gives me what? Yes, 4 plus 2, 6, and 8 gives me 68. طيب, ممكن نحلها بطريقة تانية على فكرة. ممكن أعمل 4 times 10. لو عملت here, 4 times 10 gives me what? Yes, gives me 40. وبعدين هعمل إيه? هعمل 4 times 7, right? 4 times 10, and then 4 times 7. 4 times 7 gives me what? Gives me 28, of course. And then I will add these two numbers. Yep, 28 plus 40 gives me the same answer, which is 68. Yep, I have it two different ways. In the same way, you can solve problem number three and four on the same page. And you can draw in your books to represent the numbers and the arrays before solving the problems. And now we will learn a new multiplication problems this is called the area model strategy. Now, do you remember the area rule for rectangles and studied in we studied in unit seven, uh, four? فاكرين ال ال areas ال area rule اللي احنا خدناها مع بعض. It says that the area of the rectangle equals length times width. مش ال area of any rectangle equals length times width. And this is new strategy. We will draw a rectangle to represent the multiplication problems. The dimensions of the rectangle will be the factors in the problems. Then we will multiply its dimension together to calculate the area of the rectangle. هنعمل the dimensions times each other, length times width, عشان أعرف the area بتاعت the rectangle z at the e, which will be the product of the multiplication problem. Now, تعالوا نشوف example مع بعض on page 262 in your school book. Now the problem says that the route that the river bus travels is 58 kilometers long. And the 58 kilometers long. Type, how many kilometers does the river bus travel if it follows this route nine times a day? Nine times a day. Okay? To solve this problem, we will multiply 58 by nine first. I will have 58 times nine. Then we will draw a rectangle like you will see now. Harsim rectangle kida, zay mahna shayfin. Okay? Tay. Hamil if a rectangle da. This length is bigger than the width. Taban the length be bigger than the width. We will label the rectangle by writing 9 on the short side. In 9 andi, the width of the 9. Tabi long side hamil fi e. Long side il hua 58. Basan ashan tiba sahla. إن أنا حلها هعمل 58 I will decompose it into 50 and 8 هعمل هنا 50 وهعمل هنا 8 ليه بعمل decomposing عشان تبقى سهلة وأنا بحلها Then we will split the rectangle into two parts by drawing a vertical line زي ما أنا عاملة كده to represent how 58 was decomposed into 50 and 8 طيب تعالوا نشوف بقى بعد كده هعمل إيه we will use the multiplication to find the area of each rectangle. هعمل هشوف ال area بتاعت ال first rectangle وهشوف ال area بتاعت ال second rectangle. بعدين هعمل add to the two areas عشان أعرف ال area بتاعت all the rectangles. طيب ال small rectangle ال area بتاعته كام? Eight times nine, right? يبقى هجيب area one اللي هي nine times eight or eight eight times nine the same. طيب then. The area of the rectangle equals the length multiplied by width, right? مش ده length ده الوقت بتاعي. يبقى 8 times 9 equals what? Equals 72. دي area 1 اللي عندي. وبعدين هعمل ايه? هنشوف بقى ال big rectangle. هعمل عايز اجيب ال area بتاعت ال big rectangle. هعمل ايه? 9 times 50. Right? اللي هو length times width. 9 times 50 equals what? Yes, 9 times 50 equals 450. ممكن أعمل 9 times 5, 45, and put the 0 to be 450. طيب بعد كده هعمل إيه؟ So the area of the whole rectangle, I will add these two areas. Okay? يبقى هعمل 450, area equals 450 plus 72. Right? 450 plus 72 equals what? Equals 500. 
22, and this is the area of all the rectangles. Now, can you do the same with problem 2? Layer 7 times 35. Let's see 7 times 35. Let's see problem number 2, which is 7 times 35. Let's see 7 times 35. Okay, أول حاجة هعملها إيه؟ I will draw my rectangle. تعالوا نرسم rectangle مع بعض. Here, I draw the rectangle. Okay. My width is 7. طيب. I will split this rectangle into two parts. Okay. وهعمل إيه؟ هعمل decompose لل 35. I will decompose 35 into 30 and 5. Right? So, I will split the rectangle into two parts by drawing a line like this. But here I have 30, and here I have 5. Okay? Type. Right. Yes, I will calculate the area of the two rectangles using the rule of the area. Here, area equals length times width. Okay, so what is the area of the first one? Yes, 7 times 5, right? Area 1 equals 7 times 5. 7 times 5 equals what? 35. This is area 1. Tell us about area 2. Area 2 equals to 7 times 30. 7 times 30 equals what? Of course, 7 times 3 is 21. And then put the 0 out. Okay, to be 210. This is area 1 and this is area 2. Now to find the area of the whole rectangle, hamil e, hamil area one plus area two. Give area equals thirty-five plus two hundred and ten. Thirty-five plus two hundred and ten gives me what? Gives me two hundred forty-five. Where is the area of that rectangle, of that or the whole rectangle? Now let's see problem number three. Problem number three, I want to solve 4 times 91. 4 times 91. I will draw my rectangle. The width of 4 will length of 91. So draw here rectangle like this. The width of 4 will length of 91. Then I will decompose 91 into 90 plus 1. تعالوا نعمل كده. Line. And this will be 90. And this part will be 1. بعمل كده ليه عشان أحلها in a very easy way. Then what should I do? I will calculate the area of the two rectangles using the area formula or area rule. The area of the small rectangle will be what? 1 times 4. يبقى this is area 1 and this is area 2. Area 1 اللي هي length times width. 1 times 4 equals 4. But this is area 1. Then what should I do? I will get the area of the biggest rectangle or a second rectangle, which will be area 2, length times width, yani 4 times 90. Okay. 4 times 90 equals what? Equals, of course, 360. But this is area 2. Then what should I do to get the area of the whole rectangle? I will add the two areas. Okay, area of the rectangle equals 4 plus 360. The answer is 364, and this is the area of the whole rectangle. In problem number 4, let's solve it all together. Type time, problem number 4. Problem number 4, I want to solve 88 times 6. Type time, 88 times 6. Okay, what should I do? I will first draw my rectangle. The width of 6 will length of 88. This is my rectangle. And this is my width, so 6, and this is 88. I will I will decompose the 88 into 80 plus 8, right? I will put line here. This part will be 80, and this small part will be 8. Then, what should I do? I will find the area of the small rectangle, then the area of the biggest one. So, area of the small rectangle is what? Or area 1 is what? Area 1, the here length times width, yani 8 times 6. This is 8 and this is 6, right? 
8 times 6 equals what? Of course, 48. We have the area 1. Elandi. Now, let's move to area number 2. Area number 2 also, length times width. I have 6 and 80. So, 6 times 80 gives me what? Yes, ممكن نعملها بطريقة سهلة قوي. ممكن أعمل 6 times 8. هي 6 times 8 equals what? لسه عاملينها حالا 48. And then put the zero out to be 480. Then what should I do? Yes, I will add 48 plus 480 to get the area of the whole rectangle. تعال نشوف كده area of the whole rectangle equals area 1 plus 2 يعني 48 plus 480, which is equals to what? Of course, equals to 528. So here the area بتاعت the whole rectangle. Thus, we have learned the first new way to solve the multiplication problems, and this is the area model strategy. In this concept of Unit 7, we will focus on different ways to solve multiplication problems. We have also used our previous knowledge of place value to decompose the numbers into tens with ones, which made solving problems very easy for us. And now let's move to the connect part in your book page 263. Let's see it all together. And now in the connect part, as you see here, here in page 263, he's telling me that one student was trying to find the answer to 36 by 8 using the area model strategy. Okay. I will give you time to review the answer, identify what the student did correctly or incorrectly, and try to solve the problem correctly. And when we are back, we will review our answers all together. And now, as you see here, the student tried to solve the problem using the area model. He used the area model. He drew the rectangle. We labeled it. The mistake the student made is what? That he decomposed 36 into 3 and 6. Amal 36 decomposed into 3 and 6, and this is wrong. Taib il sahi in hawa kan mafud yamilha 30 and 6. This shows that the place value is very important in decomposing any numbers before multiplying the numbers. Type to correct or to solve this problem correctly, we will split the rectangle, and it's a rectangle into two parts. The big rectangle will be eight in the width. This is the correct answer. The width is eight, and I will split the rectangle into two rectangles. Here will be 30, and this will be six, okay? Now, what is the area of these two rectangles? And Hamil area one or area two. So I will make eight times six, but then eight times thirty, right? And now I will add the two areas. The area of the whole rectangle equals forty-eight plus two hundred forty. Yeah, and area one plus area two, which is equal to two hundred eighty-eight, and this is the area of the whole rectangle. And now let's move to the problems on page 263. As you see here, we will draw the area rectangles while solving these problems. We will start now all together with problem number one. Tell us problem number one, but only problem number one, but only nine times 43 equals what? I will make Yes, I will decompose 43 into 40 with three, right? 43, they have 40 with three or 40 plus three. طيب بعدين هعمل ايه؟ I will draw my rectangle. ال width بتاعي 9 وال length بتاعي 43. تعالوا كده نرسم الريكتانجل بتاعنا. Okay. يبقى here is 9. ال width بتاعي. And here is 43. اللي هي 40 plus 3. Then what should I do? After I split the rectangle into two rectangles, I will find the area of each rectangle. وبعدين هعمل plus to the two areas. Okay, yep, the first area is 40 times 9, right? 40 times 9 equals what? 40 times 9 equals, yes, 4 times 9 is 36, and put the 0 out. 
This is the first area. طيب تعالوا نشوف ال area of the second part. But this is the first area and this is the second one. هعمل 9 times 3. Here 9 times 3 equals what? 9 times 3 equals 27. And now to find the area of all the rectangle, I will add the two areas. Can you بالضبط بعمل 360 plus 27, right? So 360 where area equals 360 plus 27 equals what? 360 plus 27 of course equals 387 where the area of the whole rectangle. Type. Now let's move to the second page 264 and let's see all together problem number two. Here is problem number two. He's asking me, here 67 times 4 equals what? With the same way, I will decompose 67 into 60 plus 7. 67, 60 plus 7. Okay, then what should I do? I will draw my rectangle. Tell us the rectangle. Type rectangle, the width of the came. Of course, the width of the 4. The length of the came. The length of the 67. Let's assume to 60 plus 7. Let's draw it like this. Here is 60 and here is 7. Type وبعدين هعمل ايه؟ Of course, I will find the area of the first rectangle and find the area of the second rectangle and then add the two areas all together. تعالوا نشوف the area of the first one. The area of the first one is what? 60 plus 4. Okay. Hey, 60 plus 4 equals what? Yes, 6 times 4, 24 and put the 0 out. But this is area 1. And then find area 2. Area 2 is what? 7 times 4. Here, 7 times 4 equals what? Of course, 7 times 4 equals 28. And I get the area 1 or area 2. Right? Type. I shall to find the area of the whole rectangle. I will add the two areas. Area equals 240 plus 28. 240 plus 28 equals what? Of course, 268. And this is the whole area of my rectangle. And now you can solve problem number 3 and 4 on the same page, 264, and draw the area model in your books. And now, after we have finished our lesson, let's summarize what we took today. Okay, by the end of our lesson, today we have used our knowledge of the area of the rectangle formula to solve two digit by one digit multiplication problems. You can scan the code shown here on the screen to access the textbook and have more practice. Thank you so much for your watching and see you next lesson. <music>